All right, welcome on in, everybody. Tobin here with you. Thanks for checking out the channel. And uh, great news today in Heat Nation. Much deserved news today for Heat Nation. Yesterday, you get the news, Jaime Hawkins Jr., all-rookie first team today for the first time in his career. Bam Adebayo was named first team all-defense. And that's Goosey's galore, dude. First of all, just to, to let everybody know, uh, it's about damn time for Bam. Um, he is so deserving to be recognized as one of the top five defenders as, as uh, you know, the fact that we have been this many years. While it's very impressive he's had this run of that many all defensive uh, placements on the team, even though it was second team. The fact that he wasn't acknowledged as one of the top five defenders in the league was pretty crazy that we got to this point. Still hasn't been defensive player of the year. He finished third this year. I don't have as much of a problem with that. Um, I think he probably still should have finished above Wemby. I know everybody got crazy with Wemby in the blocks. Wemby becomes the first rookie to ever make first team all defense. Um, but I get it. Look, Minnesota was the best team this year. They anchored the number one defense. I still think he's a better defender than Rudy Gobert. Um, but, you know, my bigger, I, I've been over this a hundred times, my bigger quibble was a couple of years ago when Smart got it above him. I thought that was ridiculous. Ridiculous. Especially with the Heat as, uh, as the top team in the East that year. Just just completely stupid. And the, and the thing that annoyed me the most about it was everybody's big detriment to it was games played because Bam missed... Um, a good amount of games because of his thumb, but he was basically back for the whole second half, which was the only time the Celtics were good that year because the Celtics sucked in the first half of the season. So I don't know, but hopefully one day he finally gets this recognition and then hopefully he will, uh, you know, get the ultimate prize that he wants. But I remember talking to him. I don't remember which season it was going into the playoffs or which one it was, but I remember asking him, I think it was that year. I think it was the year they were the one seed. And I think it was discussing, uh, it was discussing Depoy and he knew it was all politics and all that, um, you know, and he's used the fact that he don't get on TV enough and all that type of stuff. I, I do think that stuff genuinely, um, can be annoying for him, but he, you know, he does such a marvelous job of, he has all of this respect from his from his counterparts, from his peers in this league. Um, even if the media love and the fan love, quite frankly, is coming a little bit slow. Because here's the thing, you know, I, I've I've noticed this. I was actually funny today. I was uh, I just happened to be uh, about out and about with uh, a buddy who we talk a lot of shit back and forth about basketball. He's not a Heat fan. But he likes he likes to to give me uh, the business anytime the uh, you know the heat season ends or whatever. But he was even like the Bobby thing is oh well, Bam's a four you know Bam's a four Bam's a Bam, and I, you know look I'm not disagreeing with people that would say like like you don't think Bam's a center because he's six nine six ten on a good day, but. You can't deny the guy has been a very successful five for the Miami Heat. He has. And, you know, when people go that route, I get what you're trying. I, I feel like there's better ways to go about it. Like, I feel like the talk, whether you want to say he's a four or a five, I think it should always be with him. They should get more size next to Bam as opposed to he's not a center because really what is a center? You're going to go get a guy who is a, pick and pop going to have to be out in the uh the the offensively, you know, be able to hit some threes for 15 minutes a game. You know, it it's one of these things where yeah, I get it. He's a unique guy that can be a, a tough front court mate to put around, but it, it's always more of a positive output than it is a negative one. And I think that if you want to talk about the heat shortcomings, I, I definitely agree that that the Heat should add some size, especially the way the league is going and with who they have to compete against. But not being able to pee a drop of offense to me 
has been um, a much bigger issue. And that really, I don't think, has been a size thing per se. But, you know, from his standpoint, I think the thing that I just worry about is just wearing his ass down because he does have to just go out there and give such an effort on the defensive level. He has to go wrestle with Nikola Jokic and Joel Embiid. And I got to tell you, add Zach Eady, act, you know, add Jonas Valanciunas, add Miles, you know, maybe Miles Turner would help in, in something. But like, add another center. Like, Spoh's still going to make Pam go defend these crazy ass centers. He's still going to make them do it. Because if you have the defensive player of the year or one of the top three defenders in the league, that's what you do. Like you, you're you're gonna you're gonna unleash him on that. Um, there'll be times where, of course, he could do the special thing where he can go and he could guard any wing, any guard in the league for a time. But you know, ultimately, he's gonna be anchoring the back of those things and 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 running the Heat system the way that he does. He's the the fact that he hasn't made more of a stink about this because look, let's be real about it. Like Bam said this in his post game that. You know, the man wants more game winners in his arsenal. He wants more moments like he had in Detroit this year and against the Nets a couple of years ago. And he's had some big closeout games against the Celtics and the Bucks and things like that. But, you know, Bam, I think, is very prideful of the work that he's done on offense and the de- developments he's made in his games. I think the guy would love it if he could get a little bit of a defensive break every now and then and, and could be you know, a guy who could uh, coast or know when to turn it on. That just hasn't been what this uh, this franchise has let him do yet. And and I imagine because there's so much honor in the way that he upholds heat culture and being, you know, in some way ingrained as you're the next guy, but he's, he's, he's stuck somewhere between D Wade and, Udonis Haslam right because it's like he's got this mentor UD who is all of the tough things all of the leadership things all of the unselfish things but you know and I say this with love he's a better player than Udonis Haslam is he's a more talented player he has this insane talent that can still feel like it's it, it can burst out and that there's still even more of a star blossoming in there I think we all see this um and I think that maybe a guy who is a bit more of a diva and a dick would be, you know, yelling at his coach a little bit more like, hey, I want to I want the keys a little bit more to these things. And I think everybody looks at it and they're like, well, you know, you got to do this. It's like it's a tough it's a tough fence to 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 handle. Like, look at what he had to do, even when everybody all the bullets had gone away. Wouldn't it have, like it would have been nice to be in the the Tyler spot where it's like, hey Tyler, please try and get open to make shots. He's gonna sit here and he's gonna try and get you open and screen shooters open and facilitate and get all the rebounds and play all the minutes and play the best defense that he can against an absolute gauntlet. And I don't say that as a shot at anybody, but like. He's got to do all the selfish things with the expectation. He's got to do all the unselfish things with the expectation that he's also going to produce the the points and he's going to produce, you know, the the stops and he's gonna he's gonna put up those big numbers. So it is going to be an interesting thing to see what the uh, the next evolution of his career is from here, because. In a lot of ways, like Jimmy's still the face of the Miami Heat right now, but I think that there's no question in the organization's mind, like who they're backing, right? Like they're going to give the only guy who really didn't suffer any wrath from Pat Riley of the big three of their payroll was Bam. Bam's probably going to get an extension without a stink. Maybe he'll even get a monster one if he makes all NBA on, uh, on Wednesday, but it was interesting, you know, when you hear the reports that they want to get a star more on Bam's timeline, where before it always felt like, well, we, they got to get Jimmy help. And now it feels very much like, oh, no, they want to try and get, if they do make a move, get Bam help to facilitate this next era. If they're going into a next era where, you know, if they're able to get another orca to pair with him, that it's him 
say it's a spider, say they go back in the day, whatever. Um, that pairing, and then either Jimmy back in the fold a little bit, or you know maybe moving on from that era completely. I don't know, but he's not going anywhere. I mean, he's not going anywhere, and it is, you know, it is going to be interesting to see how they treat his talents going forward. Um, is he always going to be the guy who is going to be their best defender always? And getting people open and facilitating and doing the unselfish things? Or does he want to go into more of a uh, score-first mode? And what does that look like? And do and in that case, yeah, you probably do have to add some centers to make him a f- power forward. Or hell, even a small forward. You know, the way that the league is going today. If you're going to do those types of things to add even more size. The one thing about him that is fascinating is because of his talents. Like, it leaves you, I think, with some pretty interesting areas where you could go in and, uh, and 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 paint that picture but all in all this was a long time coming he's right much much deserved happy for the guy uh, as easy to root for as it gets when it comes to a professional athlete class personified works his ass off represents the organization well has done a whole lot of winning um and you know really does not bitch about any of this stuff publicly ever like just hold, upholds himself with uh with a lot of class all the time so congratulations to bam out of bio much deserved and happy for him